is uh, Jerry off off book? I think Jerry will join us uh, momentarily from here, but you know, normally he's not speaking much. So <laughs> basically, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, so, I mean, we've had a really turbulent week. Um, I am looking at the where are we? I've put a weekly AMA chat up. So be be aware. Normally, the first half of the chat is going to be about uh, myself talking with Yawn, talking about the week, the week that's been, the week that's coming up ahead, highlights, all of those kinds of things. If you are a level twenty member in the Discord. Uh, you should really contact me just before the AMA and we will bring you up to stage. If you are a community member that's been a part of the community long enough to grind those numbers out and you've got a question for the team, they don't stray away from those questions. I'm absolutely happy to have more and more different people come on stage. Um, so always keep in mind that that first half hour is normally pretty pivotal. Um, it's where Yawn and I, we do our weekly dance. We we, we come on, we talk, we uh have our different opinions and all these kinds of things, and, and we see what's going on. But um, Yawn, welcome to stage. Um, really, really big week. We had a midweek emergency meeting in the end, emergency AMA. Um, how how have you sort of been for the rest of the week or even the whole week? Uh, I think uh, we were having some commotions with the FUD in the middle of the week, and uh, we see that simmer a little bit, but uh, nothing really major. I mean, it's... Um, normal to see that uh, when you are getting attractions and there are people trying to sort of, um, what can I say, undermine the um, attractions, basically. So it's normal, right? So uh, I think sometimes we overreact a little bit. And uh, sometimes I feel that I should uh, probably do a public apology for um, some of my overreactions. And uh, but again, you know, we human as a emotional animal, so sometimes you just have that sort of adrenaline rush, and say, you know, I'm gonna talk about something that uh, then uh, you're getting a little bit overreacted. But uh, generally, the week is good. Um, I think we pay off many of the uh, important uh, infrastructures. Um, you know, we were touching bases on that during the midweek AMA. Um, with the um, more of a meta structure we're trying to build, and uh, with a series of uh, let's say you know quote unquote like a launchpad type of infrastructures, um, basically to put more utilities to the GMT, and uh, I think really is our main objective uh, to push the product out, um, and. Uh, spend less time on Twitter, maybe. So, uh, uh, yeah, so I think that's uh, the main sort of uh, takeaway of the week. So, yeah. Generally, um, the progress of everything else is great. Um, I think uh, you just bit of a carry away by the fact, but uh, it doesn't impact anything we do. I'd look at it differently, Orn, and I would say... I don't I don't think there needs to be an apology for the team from the week. And I'm going to give a reason why for, for people is you are just as human as the rest of us. Yes, you, you are a co-founder of the project, but um, you're human. Like uh, for, for people that haven't met you on having the event in South Australia, it was only 120 people, so it wasn't a huge amount of people. But, you know, this is a project that is driven from, from real people. Um and going into the space today, we had 86 people at the start for the Greek event and uh, in Athens here. And, you know, like we had 100 by the end of it and we did things afterwards. We had food, we had beers, we talked about the game, we talked about the social element. But, um, I mean, it's, it's this is all new for you as well, right? Who's built a game that's worth $20 billion? Who's built a game that's going to a million daily active users and needs to make sure that this is good in six months, 12 months, 18 months, 10 years. Um, it's it's good to me is the way I see it is no one's perfect in this space and you guys don't actually profess to be perfect. Um, you know, we've we've made problem mistakes as a team, yeah? Yes, and uh, I think really um, since the day one, we always focus on the uh, product and uh, the user experience as well as the community buildings. Um, so I think we didn't attract any attention until lately that uh, there's just some of the really um, 
and reasonable fat uh, circulating around. And uh, I think, you know, in, in the beginning, you get angry and then you sort of get a little bit frustrated and then you say, what did I go wrong? Right. So, but then you realize that you didn't do anything wrong and uh, you just can't please everybody. So, you know, that's when you decide you just have to do your work and uh, carry out the work. And and that's the thing is um, we speak to look I, I had this has been the best live event I've had in Adelaide South Australia it was awesome but here at Greece we started at eight o'clock this morning we had sixty people out the front before the gate was open at nine and then we did the event and we stayed there until three o'clock in the afternoon and real people real people playing the game they weren't there because GST was two dollars or one dollar or four dollars or ten dollars they were there for what the game is out to be and, and give to the community and it's amazing so um i mean shit what, what can we do we're, we're real people we're, we're dividing a project uh, because Stepan yawn has been built from the crypto ground up and there's a lot of people that may have life assets they may be drawing that gst out daily to earn a living um to to to, to make it sustainable for their life um, it's kind of a bit of a balancing act, isn't it? You, you, you might have half a uh, 500,000 people might actually be just trying to draw a daily wage and, and, and cashing out that coin, whereas there's the players that are in it for the long term. So it's a balancing act the whole way, isn't it? Yes, and actually, if you look at the tweet, uh, I think somebody was posting the average uh, people are withdrawing out of the app and also the average minting. It's pretty steady uh, for the past whole months. So the life, you know, life goes on and the app goes on. So, you know, we move on basically. So sometimes that, um, I think, uh, you know, the file eventually is going to settle down and uh, we will push out new features and roll out new infrastructures and build a more robust app and also the ecosystem. So again, um, sometimes, you know, you, you, I don't want to get distracted basically. So. Uh, we are focusing on uh, the negotiation on the first round and uh, also timing for the third round. So, you know, there's still lots of things going on at the background. And I think that will be enough, I think, to answer the unsustainable questions. And, uh, uh, you know, for people that actually pay attention of uh, what we're trying to do, I think we are trying to address the fundamental issues of sustainability um, uh, in the Web3. So that you have to really drive, drive the uh, externalities um, to have value that uh, these things are willing to pay for and uh, the consumer are willing to pay for. So, you know, that, that's sort of the important part. You have to have a functional product that people are willing to pay for. And that, that's just the beginning. And then you create value and use that value. You can utilize the community and you, through the community, you actually create a, a real uh, Web3 product there's a couple of really big points on realms within that um that intro that you're on so the timing on the third realm and working on the fourth realm so i want to touch on both of those because you've mentioned <laughs> within this it's the timing on the third realm so this is a done deal you've got a partner um it doesn't necessarily mean it's a blockchain i don't want to i don't want to ask a leading in question but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a blockchain, but there is a third partner there and we're talking two to three months where that third realm comes in. Am I close to base here? Um, I think so. Again, uh, so that the third realm will be more of a, a phase five. You know, that's where we're thinking about rolling, um, converting step into more of a, a platform and B2B2C type of uh, operation so that uh, there will be more of a, both the, the, the more of a retail end, uh, and then there will be a business end uh, open up to, because again, you know, this we have to roll out this incrementally. Um, the timing, uh, it really depends on how fast we roll out the GMT use cases. Got, we still want to roll out a few before we roll out the realms. And uh, uh, so, yeah, so we're looking at, let's say Q3, Q4. So definitely going to be this year. So uh, maybe we're going to roll out not only one realm by the end of this year. So um, definitely that uh, between the Q3, Q4-ish time we're looking at. Well, 
you, you're giving it to us. <laughs> I can't get my pen and pad out here quick enough to write these out. So maybe more than one realm rolled out by the end of the year, Q3, Q4. Um, so is there any more information we can find out about the fourth realm? There's a lot of obviously huge um, debate uh, information. There's, there's the community about it. We, we've talked about how the NFT doesn't necessarily need to be a sneaker, and then that leads to more debate and talk. Uh, is there anything we can know about the fourth room? I think I think we have to do this in more of a progressive manner. So the fourth room will not be rolled out um, in a hurry. So we want to because we test the realm system on the BSC chain, and uh, then we roll out the third one. And the third one I think also going to be different from the BS BNB chain. And we also want to improve on the the third realm to adding. Uh, maybe different type of uh, uh, changes on the first realm. So again, you know, this is that we want to maybe make a little bit of a different uh, or like a USP type of thing. Um, 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 so that uh, every time when people go into a new realm, they say, yep, this is Stepan, but there's something new. So that, that's sort of the effect we want to uh, people to see. So that's like we said in the WoW upgrade where we're going from uh, level 60 to 65 to 70 to, to 80. Um, you're bringing out the updates, but the updates aren't necessarily sneaker levels. They're more about realm changes, which has got gameplay changes. And um, mm -hmm. we've seen we've seen from Binance, it's been a, like you, you're touching on there, is it's a very, it's a test. This was the second realm huge test we saw there was the minting farms created and it completely changed how the game was played on both Binance and Solana yeah. so is is that the just triggering and seeing how people may do it on the third realm and then from the third realm you take that to the fourth yes so uh, we observed the user behavior on the BSC and then we come out with the minting scroll so because as we see that because you know the stepping on the BSC chain, you have to consider that uh, it is still stepping, but it is stepping at a different time. You know, we come from more of, uh, you know, the, the, the Solana realm is more, we first started, right? We start off really slowly and uh, we have here, there issues, how to fix it, you know, and uh, how to build it. But then the BNB was sort of just out there and uh, there was, uh, and then people started migrating to BNB chain. So, and then causing the huge, uh, minting farm, and then we have to come down with the minting scroll. So then we doing the uh, energy bridge, and then we see how people behave, where they are hoarding on the Solana chain sneakers as uh, sort of a dry battery, and then they can use the one by one pair of sneakers on the BNB chain, and then use that to earn GST on BNB, which is much more expensive than Solana. So, and then this got us to um, change. So uh, how the energy is uh, transferring among different realms. So the third one, we will basically draw the earnings from what we've done on Solana and BNB and come up with a better design and uh, with um, uh, good partners. And uh, so, yeah, so, but it's also, you know, so you can see a different realm almost like a different um, step in at a different time, time frame. Yeah, it's like and, uh, uh, yeah. Pl pl playing classic is different than playing vanilla. But yeah, and yeah, exactly. What you're saying, Yawn, um, I mean the 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 batteries being on Solana, that was a created by the team though. You must see that. So when the team donated, uh, sorry, we had two thousand ASICs, and that was the, that was the launch of the Binance chain, um, mm -hmm. and then we had the airdrop of the SOG. So that was airdrop to the Genesis holders on Solana. But then, of course, those players, the majority that would be holding on to a, to, a, to a Genesis sneaker would understand the value. So they would already have running operations there. So quite simply, they would have gone, oh, the GST is much higher. I'm going to use that. So effectively, it's all learning from the team at the same time. Because nobody ever run this model before. So, uh, you know, you see 100% of the, let's say, let's say you use GameFi, right? 100% of GameFi in the past. They only have one game. And uh, when they're uh, going off the roof, and uh, they always come down. And because you can't tap into infinite amount of uh, um, uh, users, especially that uh, GameFi is sort of a niche market. So we can see the lifespan of the GameFi is 
relatively short. You can see like long tail that the user accumulating um, before it really take off, but as long as it's taken off, um, you will not long, last for a very long time. So we are addressing this fundamental issue of this short, short sort of uh, time span by having the realms over and over. So really, when people are minting new sneakers on the newer realm, they are also spending a lot of GMT. So the ultimate goal is to have people to switch over to earn the GMTs. Because it uh, doesn't matter how many realms you keep rolling, you are still well facing a um, inflationary supply of the GMT. And uh, that will still be uh, questions of the so-called um, sustainabilities. But if you are mining some, it's like people mining Bitcoins, right? So they are mining something with a finite supply where they have a relatively good uh, value to support, let's say with other things we build. So, but to have that crossover, you're going to take some time. And uh, the realm is a perfect equilibrium. Again, it's like how we created be between the GSD and GMT uh, earning. It's all revolved around equilibrium. And uh, when the crossover happened, then people will make their logical you know, choices. And, and then you will see gradually that uh, we'll have a much much robust uh, overall ecosystem. So the new opportunity will be on the new realm, but uh, existing community will happily earn the GMT. And like we've kind of said through the week, is that the GMT is likely going to be something from Solana. It's the possibility where Solana is the existing realm. That's the first one. It's the cheapest one. And it's always going to be the mother of the system. I mean, you can you can also earn a GMT on BNB chain. Let's say once the GMT open for earning, but it will discover you better earn GSC and then convert it to a GMT. You probably get more. So that's the thing that uh, it will um, people will make their own choices. Uh, but let's say you know when you present with one or two options, people will probably find the most beneficial options for them. So it's more like a mechanic. So uh, you have the mechanic and then people make their own choices. Oh, sorry, just to push the talk button problem there. So it, it's realistic, you know, min-maxing in a crypto game is about min-maxing for profit, is what we're saying. It's not necessarily about playing the game, but that min-max comes into utilizing where can we make the best, uh, the best USD soon. Um, because it's, you know, it's, it's a logic, uh, pathway for people. I think we started to realizing that a little bit recently as well, that, uh, I don't want people to focus too much on, uh, you know, min max on the earnings. Definitely that's important. But, uh, I think also with the community people are building together and also with the, you know, batch we're trying to roll out where to really focus on having a healthy routines on exercising. I think earning, yes, is good. And also sometimes it's also important, but uh, if people are purely more like a min max earning driven, um, sometimes it's also a little bit boring, right? So I think what people sometimes are worried about is I have to min max up until say they get the money back. Definitely that's understandable, but again, I want people to take some time to look at the different aspect of the app. Um, take some time to explore it uh, when it comes to the you know uh, uh, time or chance, so that um, you know enjoy it rather than you know you know milk it. So <laughs> so I think that that's sort of the message we want to um, get across. Yep, yep. Um, welcome to stage, Jerry. Um, and how's your week been there, Matt? Yeah, just changed my baby's nappy. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be a little late. I love I'm it. Good. I love I'm it. Okay. Um, we got one big thing before we deep dive into the rest of it, Yorn. Uh, I think we should probably address the Chinese situation um, through uh, even from, from your words. We saw a really big one. We had the emergency AMA. And for the people that didn't see that straight away, I apologize. That was me trying to upload it on my inner Greek 
uh, Hope Hill. At the moment, my Wi-Fi is taking three times to upload that. Um, and uh, from from there, I can't do much. And like I, I kept trying and trying and trying. So, Yawn, we had a big AMA. It was a midweek emergency, and the day after, we then had a big tweet for the Chinese community, and we saw a dive on the the price of the NFTs on both Binance and Solana. Solana's recovered. Binance is quite low still. Did you wanna? Or can you touch base on that, please? So the uh, again, I think with the uh, closing of the IP and GPS services of the mainland China user, uh, it is not included in, uh, say, Macau or Hong Kong or, for example, Taiwan. Uh, it's really a policy or internal uh, review that uh, we. You know, with app stores, right? Or with, you know, Google is not even available in mainland China. With app stores, for example, that uh, you cannot download Stepan from the mainland China because uh, the app store will not, uh, basically, this is what is uh, the regulation uh, not allowed. So that uh, when we apply for a global uh, release of Stepan, uh, only mainland China didn't get through, but people can download that from Hong Kong. And uh, we've you know, so people basically what they did is they will buy a Hong Kong uh, Apple ID and then download that. So then you sort of have people are uh, using apps uh, not within um, the regulatory um, allowed uh, range, basically. So we discover this will be um, a non-compliance, and uh, we basically voluntarily um, decided to. Uh, close the GPS and IP services. But we want to do it with the uh, greatest uh, uh, sort of uh, allowance so that uh, for people that bought the sneakers, they will be having the opportunity basically to recover or to play, make plans. Um, you know, um, I think that's the reason that we extend the timeline to the 15th of July rather than do it. Uh, sort of uh, within a short period of time. So that's really, um, you know, the story behind it. And then I, uh, then we were sort of um, getting a lot of, uh, even more findings, you know, the middle of the week. And then we sort of got used to it. So uh, there's, you know, uh, a lot of exaggerations um, out there basically trying to make a big fuss, but it's really about uh, voluntarily comply with the regulations and uh, um, yeah, I don't know what, what else to say. I mean, it, it's sort of a simple thing, um, but it's not a simple decision, right? So yeah, it's a simple thing. It's that a simple I, yeah. thing, but it's not a simple thing. And what what that leads me to say now, and we've talked about it, I actually think in the midweek AMA, we've got other countries in that list that, that say that you cannot play the game uh, you need to check the regulations, and US, India are two of the big ones that I think of. I think there's 12 countries. That's a standard crypto thing. So is this a standard crypto thing? Should people in those other countries be worried? Um, and what do they do if they think they could be um, at risk? So as we are doing our internal scrutiny of legal reviews with multiple lawyers across the world, we didn't come across with any of the U.S. or Indian lawyers saying that you cannot do this. So that is within the legal, legal, uh, reg, regis, regulatory sorry, uh, uh, allowance range. So basically, and also we have checked with the SEC that uh, it is there are rules and regulations uh, of how to be complied. So as long as you are complying, and uh, you know, again. Uh, I think the simplest way for people to test is that if you can download that from the app store, if you can download that, it is allowed in that region. If not, it's not. You know, as simple as that. And mainland China is never was allowed in the first place. Well, you're saying they've got to use that Hong Kong phone, the Hong Kong credit card to be able yeah. to uh, utilize it. Yeah, you just Hong Kong app ID, and then you can sort of, uh, you know, download that. Um, I, I feel the human element there. One of the people that helped me on jogging with Barn Dog is, is in China. And I know from his personal experience with his wife, they're separate in uh, cities and his family, he's onboarded. And um, there is a human, there's definitely a human need there. And um, 
I guess what options do they have? They they recover their funds and and sell their assets or um or what move countries? Like I I, I don't. This is this is very hard for me to understand as an Australian resident because it's very open laws for us in Australia. We can do what we we pick and choose as long as we pay our tax. We can play pretty much anything. We're in all the IEOs, unlike America. Um, we, we get it kind of easy. So for the people in China, then they're needing to remove those assets before the fifteenth. You're saying? Okay, so um, because we give around uh, six. Or six weeks of time. So normally speaking, uh, we allow that uh, they do continue to use the service up until that time. And when uh, we come to the fifteenth of July, and uh, the IP and GP has to be banned, basically they cannot move to China, mainland China, and uh, they can choose to sell their asset. Um, and uh, if they decided to keep it, you know, if they go to let's say uh, Hong Kong or Macau, they can still use it. So. It's not like we're banning the account. It's just that we cannot use offer the services or they cannot use it. And they can still access their account, let's say once they step outside uh, the uh, the mainland China region, then they can they can use the app as as functional as now. Oh uh, sorry, I thought you said June. Okay, so six weeks July, mid July, people have got time. So this caused a a uh, selling of assets, didn't it really like we saw uh, Solana assets go to five to seven Solana, and Binance drop to five uh, BNB. Yeah, it will cause a massive sell-off as well as uh, people are panicking. But uh, we, again, looking at overall data, um, I think that will be restored uh, relatively um, quickly. And also, once the uh, uh, the IP and GPS ban come in effect on the fifteenth. Um, I think there will be uh, no effect to us um, by the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we saw the floors go back off of Solana to 12 and uh, 14 for, uh, what, what is it, trainers. So rather than ask, uh, let's, let's kick into more of it. So rather than ask all these open questions about uh, what we've got coming out, would you like to tell us, Yawn, the next major update? Uh, what do we look forward to seeing from that? Um, the next update, basically, we are rolling out uh, as we touched bases on, I think, uh, last week. Yeah, so we're rolling out an entirely new system. Um, and that was the one that uh, Jerry was quite fond about, that I uh, was teasing the community that are we going to like it. Um, so we basically... Is that the respect, gonna... Jerry? You're going to give us the respect, um... <laughs> on, Jerry? We are working on yeah. the respect now. We are working on the respect now. So. Um, and uh, as well as a few others, um, I mean, you know, the progress has to be made um, to, to, to continue the GMT burnings. So I think we have that uh, plan for next week release, um, right, Jerry? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Right, I mean, it has stock. So yeah, definitely next week release. So is again, you know, it's a little bit of frustrating that uh, uh, that, you know, the new system is sort of the key of the phase four. And uh, I think we want to talk about it, but we can't, right? I'm being bound by what I can say. So, um, I mean, if we can, and uh, we can maybe do another AMA after we release it, uh, just talk about the features, or we can wait until next Saturday. Oh, well, yeah. So potential midweek, then you want by saying there could be an AMA midweek. We might need to do that. So is it uh, just <laughs> around the corner? Let, 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 let's say next Saturday before next Saturday. I don't want to, you know, give promise and then got delayed. Let, let's just say next Saturday, we should have the new feature out. All right. So, uh, uh, so I don't know where to go from there. So there's a lot of things that we're talking about, use cases and updates and panda skins and trailblazers and minting scrolls and everything but what is it uh is is it possible to, to announce what's coming out potentially next week uh i think we can we have the minting scroll next update right um, we uh 
<laughs> I don't want to give a promise, but I don't, <laughs> if I if I if I can't deliver it, uh, uh, yes, we are working on a new update, and it's more than meeting pro, more than that. Yeah, you know that, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, not sure about the meeting scroll, but uh, yeah, we are working on a uh, a big update. So. I I so yeah as, I, I can't give, I, I can't give the I can't give the timeline. <laughs> uh, we'll try to release by the end of next week. It should be this week, but yeah. Uh, sometimes we, when 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 we design new features, uh, sometimes we'll find uh could be a better way to deal with it. So we will try something new, something different. So just delight maybe one week, maybe a little bit more, but not. Yeah, yeah, we are working on it. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, I hate to talk in riddles, but uh, with the new update, the entire workload is about almost as much as uh, the entire seven project up until now. It's, um, it's a pretty big system. Yeah, I mean, um, there's, there's always so much, though. A, a lot of the new factors, new rules that come in change the system all around. Uh, can we touch any more on the energy system update? I'm going to get a lot of texts and messages today. Is there any more mm-hmm. information about that at the moment? So, uh, energy system will not be rolled out for another three three weeks. Uh, I think we can talk about some alphas next week. How about that, Jerry? Uh, yes. Okay. Like so that. you will that gives yeah. the community some time. So you're saying next week we can potentially find out what the changes may be. Yeah. So as, as I said, you will you will create an entirely new way of uh, playing um, Stephen on Solana. Before um, before I go to open crowd questions. There's one other people ask me things through the week every time. Um, now we know that gems are uh, sorry, we're out of pay multiple accounts that's off the grey area. Um, gems is that any time soon to be added where um, people can send them from one account to another? At the moment, you have to sell them rebuy a gem. Mm, I think that's will be. Um... Yeah, I don't, well, I, that that part is not in the uh, development pipeline. So I think that will stay in this way up until we look into this. Just that we see that it was an anti-cheating mechanic, people sending gems from one account to the other. But um, now that uh, it's it's active, you're allowed to have multi-accounts. Uh, some people think that maybe we can send those assets. I think the multi-account, uh, again, as, as I said many times, is not what we encourage, but it's, it's something that uh, people choose to do. So it will be mechanics in the future that uh, to uh, get people to make a choice. So uh, until the new mechanic rollouts, we, you know, it, it, let's say we count, let's say, uh, let's, say uh, let's say we say we don't, allow multi account but people do it anyway. So that is something I think uh, since that we don't have uh, time to deal with now, but uh, again, with multi account is sort of uh, not what we encourage. So we will come to that uh, once we got time to deal with it. Alrighty. Um, I mean, we're halfway through the AMA. Do you want to crack into some crowd questions? Yeah, of course. Right, um, this is a good one because it's, um, I guess, a little bit about crypto basics, but what is the reason you have included the largest countries in the list of countries that are prohibited from using Stefan? It's, again, you know, uh, it is what the regulations um, of men in China are, are toward, um, um, you know, application like us. So it's not that we don't want to um, um, access to the mainland China's user is uh, what we are bound by legal requirements. So if one day that uh, the mainland China's policy have changed, we'll be happy to reopen the <clears throat> reopen the um, um, sort of the, the basically to lift uh, the IP and GPS ban. 
And we see that on effectively all crypto products list those same city uh, countries, yeah? Uh, sorry? So a lot of the crypto projects, IOs, drops like that, they list the same list of countries. It's all to do with regulations of what their country allows. Yes. So is again, I think so. So I want to clarify that is is the regulatory ambiguous uh, ambiguities that uh, uh, one basically says that they have uh, regulation one two three that uh, we cannot do, and also there are also areas that uh, there's no regulation to explain. So when you're seeking regulatory uh, guidance, and basically the lawyer says there's no law, um, and we don't know what to do. So up and uh, so the, basically, when there is a, a clear uh, regulatory guide, guidance, and then you can say, all right, now we have the guidance. We just follow this step one, two, three. Then we can we can we can do it as as far as we complied. Then you should be fine. But the current situation is that there's no such guidance there, and uh, and uh, you know then you, you become very difficult for us. Um, so basically, we are, we are also waiting for a clear uh, regulatory guidance in mainland China. Once they have it, we can basically be compliant and then open up the market. Okay, the next one's about um, the missing assets. Are there plans to hire more customer support? Uh, it seems that we're getting more issues with 2FA missing okay. assets, wait, waiting days. Um, are we gearing up for that? We, we are hiring uh, new customer support on a daily basis. And uh, I have to really address that. With the missing asset, over 90%, what we have spent a lot of time to track and to trace and to investigate, and it turned out that all these missing assets are self-orchestrated fraud that uh, people want to do on us. And that really pissed me off a lot. That uh, we have spent a lot of uh, energy and manpower basically to assist with the request. Only find out that um, they are doing this basically, you know, say, oh, I got my asset missing and then got a friend hacked their account. So definitely yeah. there's something so we have to more, do with that more, in the more future. Ways of fighting the system. And uh, it's simply not acceptable that, um, uh, you know, doing massive fraud to us. So we will come up with some solutions to that. And and this type of behavior actually are damaging the people actually need help, right? When you are flooding with 10,000 emails every day saying that their asset got stolen, which is not, people that actually get their assets stolen or they actually get their assets stuck in somewhere will not, go, you know, will not get the help up until you know, we get to them. And that, that is the frustrating part. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we will come up with a solution for that. Um, I like that. So, I mean, it's a reality, isn't it? If, if you're wasting time on a false claim, it's, it's time that you can't get back. Um, okay, let's go on to the next one. Um, can we be told more about badges? We have uh, something pretty exciting launched, uh, mentioned last week. Um, can we inform any more about that? Uh, yeah, so uh, during the, uh, the upcoming uh, coin market cap conference, uh, we will drop the first batch of 5,000, you know, like a, uh, like a attendance batch to the attendance of the uh, CMC conferences. So I think that will be marked the beginning of the batch system. And also uh, I'm, I'm trying to finish all the works before this quarter so that we can get on the achievement. You know, uh, I, 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 I sort of, I got uh, missed out uh, playing World of Warcraft for many months. Uh, it, it, you know, it'd be nice to, you know, open the app and open the game and check their achievement system and find some inspirations. Um, the Strava leaderboard, there's a Strava leaderboard, yeah? So um, we, we, yeah. we've just had that launched and there's, there's people vying to get into the top 50, top 100. Um, I guess that's, is that the integration, the start of the, if people want that achievement to get the kilometers up on that? Um, the Strava is actually, we open up the Strava ambassador program, which we pinned in our Twitter uh, description sections that uh, if, uh, you know, if people are really active or are influencers on Strava, uh, we are basically uh, looking for Strava ambassadors. Really, I mean, this is the thing that uh, once the Web3 getting a little bit of toxic 
with all the fillings. And many uh, people are a little bit being spoiled sometimes. Some apologies for saying that. So I think uh, we will just do this as our pace, you know, to attract more Web2 users. And we find Strava actually to be an excellent gateway for us to access the Web2 users. That is already active in uh, Finnish and, uh, um, you know, they already have a habit. So it would be nice for them to try seven, you know, for a change. You know, they are running anyway. But there's actually a Strava leaderboard at the moment on the uh, yes, the Stephen. You know, we have the yeah, we have the Stephen uh, Club. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, Stephen Club in Strava. So yeah, so you know, we are running on Twitter, you know, Instagram. So now on Strava. All right, let's get into this. Is a good one because it leads you into a question to talk about uh, what we mentioned midweek, which was pretty exciting. Um, about realms is the marketplace will it be separate or will there be one blockchain for example they just switch between two realms in solana blockchain to have specific shoes so do you want to talk about the decks a little bit uh yeah so as we uh disclosed in the midweek ama so we will not only be building Stefan, you know that's the sort of the reason that we're recruiting over 100 uh developers around the world to working on several projects concurrently and all fueled by the GMT basically. So uh, DAX is one of the projects we actually started about uh, two weeks, sorry, two months ago. And uh, we're trying to build a multi-chain deck, uh, DAX. Um, so one basically for Solana and one for the BNB chain, which also will be for the EVM. Um, and uh, then we'll gradually test it. We we'll started to test it in June. Uh, by gradually adding liquidities uh, so that people will not feel anything at the front. Uh, and once we are satisfied with the uh, with the DEX, we will gradually to have the front end where people can, let's say, create LP pairs or to adding uh, LP pairs for other tokens pairs. So, yeah, so that's sort of the, the plan. So it will be a two-tiered plan. One is to offer services for Stepan users, and then to open up the front end uh, to tap into um, non Stepan users. Uh, next question here from Deadpool. How about having a badge that requires you to put in a certain amount of hours in an old realm before you can go into a new realm? Very good thinking. Uh, they need to work uh, they need to wait until they see the, um, the energy system. So, so yeah, there, there are actually other sort of uh, uh, pre-requests, but uh, I think uh, we want to roll it out once we are uh, uh, doing the, uh, the the additional realms release. I think I mean not the third one, but um, for the fourth or five, we probably will have uh, additional requirement for user to uh, meet before they can cross over to the new realm. Well, I'm going to say this. It's a bit of a... Let me check this one sec. So I'm, I'm going to address this for a low-level user, but I, I disagree with the point of it. So Barn Dog is horrible to say that. So this must be from the beginning at the start of the AMA. If you don't have the skills in the team, you will... And you make mistakes... Hire a CEO that's more experienced and skills are less likely to make mistakes. So whoever in the world has made a company in a game that has got 800 to a million daily active users, um, and this is some of the FUD and stuff we've seen in channels. So, I mean, Jorn, I, I want to open – the reason I'm reading this question is now is I want to open this to the team is you guys have been very open about the fact that we may make mistakes. Uh, we work on it and, and you grow. This, this is – has anyone done a game like this before? Has there been anything outside of Axie that's even come close? Yeah, so one is that uh, for people that never developed a game, um, they might not get it. That uh, all game developers will take time to get the, you know, the data right, the, the modeling right, and all the, you know, all the aspects of things right. You know, I hate to go back to the reference of the World of Warcraft, but you know, they make a lot of mistakes and they have to rectify that. You know, mistake could be in a mechanic way or in a design way, right? So they're trying to 
you know, uh, learn for five different career uh, 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 up until now, basically. So it's all balancing, right? So there's, there's nothing is perfect. As you progress, something that uh, not important will become important down the track. So again, you know, that's sort of the fact. And uh, we believe very much of them are all paid for. Um, uh, I don't know who paying them, but uh, again, you know, uh, for saying things that are unreasonable like this, um, I, I hope people can distinguish, right? The, the real concern, you know, when people have a real concern and genuine interest in the, you know, future of the app, that basically will listen to that and will, you know, make changes. And uh, with many of the recommendations we receive, we have made changes to reflect that. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I just get speeches of um, uh, what response to this type of uh, acquisitions. Um, kind of, you know, making kind of apps. Gotcha yeah. question though, isn't it, Go on. It's a <laughs> gotcha, gotcha question where people just want yeah. to get you to say the wrong thing. Pretty much, pretty much. And sometimes you, 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 you know, the most difficult part is say, Telling yourself, I should just shut up. <laughs> you say, I'm not going to shut up. I'm going to say something. And uh, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's keep going with the questions. Um, can you tell us what do you think about meeting farms? The question, the way it read to me, sounded good because I wanted to pivot the question slightly. So uh, the question is, do you think the game without minting scrolls is getting into the late game too fast? Um, I kind of wanted to pivot the question into, is minting scrolls a way of catch-up mechanics at play? A lot of people don't understand what catch-up mechanics are. It's not Mario Kart where you're sitting behind a Mario Kart and you get the boost and you, you can go overtake him. But catch-up mechanics, energy in a game is valued the same if a minting scroll takes five to six energy, um, whether you've got a, a common sneaker as your lead or an uncommon rare epic sneaker. It's five or six energy is five or six energy. So is the Minting Scrolls designed to be a mechanic which is a catch-up mechanic, um, or is it something to completely combat the Minting Farms? Okay, so this is the thing that we witnessed on the BNB chain. So at the beginning of the game open, uh, where the BNB chain uh, become available, the Minting is a huge, uh, uh, have huge profitabilities. But it is normally done with people with a lot of capitals and also um, uh, are very much taking the risk and buying a lot of affording on the GSC and causing sort of uh, extreme price fluctuations. And uh, then because people are driven by profit, but they are not actually running. So that actually defies the whole purpose of the app is getting people outside and being active. So we believe that the meeting scroll will balance that by giving some extra returns for the people that are actually running. So consider minting scroll as a revenue share from uh, the people doing a lot of mintings but no runnings. Right? They have to buy the minting scroll of people that actually did the runnings. And in that way, um, revenue are shared uh, between the runners and the minters. Oh, I like this one regarding scrolls from Dan Stever. Uh, missed branding opportunity. <laughs> I like this. Should it be called laces instead of scrolls? Up brand opportunity. So you need laces to be able to mint sneakers together. Ah, uh, too bad. We already designed the scroll look. <laughs> you know, all the US for now. <laughs> I do like it though. That's the, the, there's little things. Yeah, that you see like that laces. Bang! You need two pairs of laces, one pair of laces per sneaker. It kind of makes a bit of sense. Yeah, but again, you know, we don't think about it, right? You put two singers together and you're like a mint or person on a sticker. That doesn't make sense. So uh, scroll. Yeah, I, makes yeah, sense I, this. I, I think it can show the new design of the minting scroll. You know, kind of the, the minting scroll is like a pattern and you need that pattern to be able to mint the next one. I, I get it from that, but the likes is actually, well, that's the, that's the first time I've seen it. I mean, at the beginning of the design, we were thinking about to make sneakers like, uh, you know, like uh, in, in, in traditional games, right? You have like a lace, have a sole, you have uh, skin, you have, you know, all sort of things that you, you know, almost like you crypt all this and you form one sneaker. But then it's getting really difficult to design and, uh, you know, um, and also uh, randomize them, right? You can't mass produce all these things. So I said, yeah, probably not. So, uh, yeah. 
we, we actually thought about that idea at the very beginning. All right, I've got a few quick fire questions here. Um, how much GMT is burned every day? How much GMT has been burned? I think now around 130 million have been burned. Um, and we're burning at about what, 5 million per day ish. Uh, will Trailblazers triple earning be Solana only or BNB as well? I think that's where people need to make a choice. Um, yeah, so it will be made to the Trailblazers. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to actually uh, talk about that. Um, I think I think we made about, available just to the account, and then people can make the choice. Will the attribute point reset feature come out before or the same time as GMT earning? Uh, definitely before the GMT earning. Uh, we are rolling out uh, various of these um, companies of actually, so refining on the US at the moment. So um, yeah, so. It is definitely in the pipelines, and we are closing with the design and everything. Can we get an update on the FOMO event? Uh, FOMO is still going to be uh, a plan for Q3, so we still have at least two months. I think FOMO will look at this into a uh, almost like a trailblazer event. So that uh, we want to sort of uh, give uh, sort of uh, more head up uh, to people before we roll it out. All right, going through the rest of the questions, that was a good couple of uh, common questions often asked, but it's good to get them updates every week. Um, airplane bug. So it's obviously still going the airplane bug. I'm not sure Yawn or Jerry. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. talk about that, but there's several questions. Uh, we noticed that, but again, uh, we are pushing out a few major updates at the moment. So it's like the people uh, falsify and fraud on us. That will be addressed um, once we got the time. Uh, we will start the airdrop from the 3rd of May to the airdrop lops. Stay tuned for part B. Uh, public beta phase four. High part four hasn't been announced. Can you reveal a bit more about it? So this was from a live tweet. Sorry, which one? Um, on the 4th, no, the beginning of May, so at the beginning of this month on a Twitter tweet, there was the airdrop mentioned from the 3rd of May. That was, wasn't the 3rd of May, the Binance sneakers? 3rd of May. Uh, yeah, we're still running that, right? We are, uh, that's a 500 uh, followers, 500,000 uh, 500, followers on Twitter. And we're running, I will give away 50 Genesis sneakers on the BNB chain. And we are doing the random drawing for 25 days uh, consecutively. And I think we are up to, uh something like a 16 or 17 yeah. pairs yeah yeah, yeah we're still running that yeah. I think, yeah. but it's got stay tuned for part b dot 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 okay part b is basically um did i say that <laughs> uh that's on twitter so you haven't told Oof. us that's what we're asking let me have a look uh first of may I'll come back to you on that. Uh, part B. It is, it is a 500k sneaker giveaway, and that was 50 over 25 days, which is huge. Uh, 50 Genesis shoe boxes over 25 yeah. days, two per day, and like you said, we're at 16, 17 thereabouts. Mm -hmm. I'll come back on that. I I probably forgot what I'm gonna say on the part B, but I'll find out and uh, let you know. All right, so I have seen several people in the crowd talking about audio problems. The audio problem has been pretty good over the last couple of weeks, whereas we had the issues with the 500,000 people, and that caused a huge amount of matrix effects, um, people being in there and out. 
But um, just for people, maybe if you see the chat and it's not answered, let them know. Just log out and come back into the channel. Um, I've got a question here asking for a stable price on GST. I, we can't ask the team on this, so the team doesn't launch the GST. Um, also ask when listing Solana GST on Binance. That's never going to happen. Uh, 3D, uh, they're different coins, different tokens. You have to on each chain. And, and now if you look at the... Are yeah. we going to call them different coins? Yawn, Jerry, uh, are we going to have a BST, uh, a SGST to, to uh, separate the fact that they are two different coins? You check the coin market cap or coin gecko, they're already uh, separating the GST on these chains. And also, if we're rolling out a new round, we might not even call it GST. They can, you know, the, the partner can define the name of it. Oh, I did uh, tab inside. He's one of our moderators and a legend in the community. Um, he, I, I saw a list of when are we looking at potentially for level five gems. I saw some big boys say at Greece um, and from Costa and uh, shout out. It was uh, it was good. Um, they had four level four gems in his in his sneakers. So is there a time frame on level five plus gems? Yeah, already. I already see one level five on Twitter, so mm -hmm. people can go over to yeah, yeah. I think they are selling for seventeen hundred Solana. No, level five gems. Yeah, you check Twitter. You should find it. Oh, everybody pauses. Everybody checks their app and goes to gems filter. No. No. Yes, okay. they are there. Oh, Two thousand Solanas for a level five <laughs> red gem. When did that sneak in? What's going on? I, I just read a tweet today, so definitely, yeah, the price goes up. Oh. Oof, that's a big red gem. That's a cool looking gem. Um, plus two hundred stats, fourteen hundred percent. So it goes from six hundred to fourteen hundred percent in seventy two, seventy five to two hundred. Oof. I'm getting some new luck in my sneakers. Um, let's keep going back with it. Wowzers. Uh, all right, so level fives are in there. Um, that was uh, Tavern side. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, a lot of similar questions. Uh, I don't think we've touched on the Panda Skin event question tonight, Mr. Yawn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, Panda Skin. So, okay, this is a new seasonal feature we we're gonna roll out right so uh it will be a so the panda skin you consider panda skins like a bonus so what you are really really getting is to burn gems and then when you burn gems your socket quality will be reset so let's say if you have a, a level two uh socket quality and you can get maybe a level three I can be unfortunate and go back to level one. So you basically just have to burn gems um, to improve your socket qualities. And uh, the panda skin is just something that you will receive on very rare uh, chances that uh, while you are burning gems, right? So, but you can burn high quality gems to increase the chance of getting a panda skin. So you burn higher quality gems, you, you, you will still be setting, resetting your uh, socket, but you will just have a higher quality to get a panda skin. Still very keen to see how that works. Um, for people not knowing socket quality, you should absolutely see some videos on it. Plenty of people have done them out there. Um, it's huge. It, it's huge for how it works for the numbers on your actual game. So, um, again, you know, um, being proactive is always what we do. And, uh, you know, uh, in the end, uh, we want to balance between the inflation and deflation of both the uh, NFT asset and also the tokens. So there are tokens and assets that are infinite supply, which 
we will implement various ways to reduce the supply, to restore the balance. So burning the jam is just one way um, of restoring the balance and also create a demand for the jams, plus uh, the burning sneakers feature that we're going to roll out as well, to reset the attribute point. Not reset, but to improve the sneakers attribute point. Just scrolling down towards, uh, we've got a few more questions. Let's let's knock them out. It's only just gone the hour. Um, there was um, something about future in the app for fitness tips. Um, the fitness side of it, we don't have it huge in the game at the moment. Is there anything in the direct future that's going to be bringing out tips or fitness or any of that kind of stuff? The fitness tip, I think even Tyson is running the um, the fitness tip sort of a session to talk about uh, warm ups and the stretches and uh, you know general well being. That's twice yeah. a week now he's doing as well, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, I think we me and Jared actually will talk about this today, um, but we have some vague ideas of uh, uh, any more fitness sort of. Uh, um, you can say features, but uh, it, it's something basically in the explorers, uh, explore, uh, exploring stage. All right, so I've answered the, uh, is the reset coming, the respecking with GMT, that'll come out before. Uh, Lord Yupa. So Lord Yupa has asked uh, when airdrop for ASICs. So uh, you want, do you want to touch on Genesis and the ASICs being a part of that? So ASIC and Solana will be taking us Genesis sneaker and uh, they will be having their moment um, when we need more sneakers um, different places. In the third realm. Come on, on side, third row. I, I, I have to uh, do more <laughs> studies, but Genesis Seeker basically um, will have some perks, and uh, yeah, every drop is one of them. All right. Uh, will the 125% strategy still be allowed, or is it going to be controlled in the future? I, I think we may have asked the was this allowed in 150%? The team didn't expect it to be played, but. Um, I think that's still fair game, isn't it, with the uh, the game and the way how yeah. it's playing? I mean, because you take 125 or 150 percent of energies, yes, but the next day you will have only 75 or 50 percent of energies. So you basically you have overdraft your next day's energy, and uh, people not, do that for. Actually, yeah. It's not a bug. It's not a yeah. cheat, is it? It's it's just a tactic, yeah. which is which shouldn't wouldn't the team really um, res respect the players thinking about it? Because they're gaming, they're, they're, they're gaming. They're actually playing a game. They're not cheating. It's just um, utilizing it to their best advantage. Yeah, and and I think sometimes it's great to have this type of uh, uh, exploring. You know, people are exploring what else they can do with that. You know, we haven't never thought about that. People can do 125 or even 150 percent of energies, and now people do it. And they say, yeah, actually, you know. Smart play, you know, well played, and uh, getting a higher quality of sneaker. Uh, sorry, uh, mystery box. Um, yes, uh, that's okay. Um, for, uh, I'm seeing messages coming because people are tagging me in uh, Discord and different channels. Weekly AMA, it's on the event stages channel. Please, for everyone listening in, by all means, ask the questions. I'm going through them. We're almost done. Um, when will Stefan launch a guild system? I had this asked live today. Yawn, the team has talked about it on uh, Twitter and talked about the guild system as such. Maybe, do you want to talk about the DAO system eventualities there? Uh, I guess it leads into what Stefan... Okay. About. This is really going to more of a higher level thinking. Uh, many things that in the, you know, the Web3 or we call it crypto world is not really sustainable or well thought. And with all the DAO structure happened like crazy for the past year up until now, we can see that uh, if we don't create a robust um, system and community and also how you pick the right people to run the community, then you will having the death spirals of the DAO structure, right? People are, you know, benefiting themselves or 
not voting and uh, you know many mechanics was designed not really uh, carefully or so after you know so we want to change how the DAO structure is formed um, and we are taking our time to run the offline event you know to have people really work with us on the offline so you need people that really engage in the community that will not fail the community before we can even proceed to uh, form a great DAO structure. And and uh, I think I touched that uh, last month, you know, with a city DAO sort of a structure that, uh, you know, you want to have more like a reputation system. You know, that's something like, a, like more like a, we, you know, I'm studying at the moment. How do we pick um, the true council members or committee members, for example, of the DAO, and will they be able to do their work or job properly and uh, be uh, altruistic, basically, uh, helping others and uh, taking responsibilities, then avoiding responsibilities, basically. So it is all exploring. And uh, but we do believe that have people meet offline to see each other face to face and build a connection will be the first step of achieving a true DAO structure. And uh, so far, we don't see that happening on Web3. Um, we hope that we can set some, um, let's say, paradigms, hopefully, for future DAO structures. Um, but again, no one tried this before us so that a lot of things we have to do ourselves and design ourselves and uh, to test ourselves you know sometimes things can go wrong and we have to go back and change it but i think we do that for the best of the community and for the best of the project um i, I guess i've got to sound that you're being here at the athens dow event the hacker house 10 in uh, in athens greece um Stepan is definitely on the the, the DAO, um, the DAO side of things. They're definitely un, unaware. And this is a the Athens DAO was brought by Grape, and then Solana backed it in in the last couple of weeks, and it became the Hacker House Ten. Is um, Stepan is potentially one of the best ways to onboard crypto natives into crypto space, and then they are people that that could potentially form DAO structures later on down the track. Is um, it's it's definitely something that. That, that they were talking about this week, Stefan, what can it do? How can it help DAOs? How can it bring new people to help drive these DAOs? Because a lot of it requires work. It requires bums and seats. Something I used to say in my gaming side of things is that um, to run a DAO, you need people that are prepared to work. And sometimes it's for no money. It's to do it because you believe in the system. Yes. And we have seen that many times in the history that, uh, you know, people need to believe in something that, uh, they also have to believe believe each other, and they also have to trust. Although that we say on the blockchain, we don't need to trust, right? Because it's a trustless or permissionless system. But again, you know, we are the human running, you know, uh, in this uh, society. We are not independent. We are all connected, and there has to be trust uh, involved. There has to be belief involved, and then you have to sort of uh, cultivate that, and that could be really difficult to build but so easy to undermine. And for what we see is that for what we built, it is super important for us to protect the community and also to allow the community to grow. Um, and uh, yeah, not being affected by the fad. Well, we've done the hour. We've gone 10 minutes over. I thought I was at the end of the question list. I got up to about uh, quarter to the last 15 minutes of questions. There's a lot of people asking the same stuff about assets. Um, why not focus on game? Was one we, we're focused on the game every week. People must must realise I ask about the game first and foremost. I'm a gamer, um, and seeing that it's it's like um, you and Jerry. They, they, this is a team of gamers building a game. Uh, it's about a lot more than the game, um, but um, I'm happy to close the stage and start looking towards the end here. Uh, Yawn, Jerry, it's been a really big week. Uh, it's been a turbulent week. We had a special AMA um, midweek 
We've seen live events. We've seen the Miami live event. We've now had the Athens event today. I cannot wait to get some videos up for that. It was absolutely amazing. Um, it was a bit of a funny course. We did four kilometres. Um, and this, to me, um, afterwards we spent four hours with the community um, just having a drink, having a feed, talking about stepping, talking about real life how things are going. So to me, it's about more than just earning GST. It's about more than just the one thing. It's 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 a complete totality of the game. So uh, Yawn, Jerry, I mean, for me personally, this, this is this is really awesome. I'm I'm in love with what I do in the community. Um, and it's I guess I get a lot of push from some of the community as to we're not very they don't see us as professional with these AMAs. And I've seen it a couple tonight. So would you like to say why why would you say Someone like Barn Dog, why, why, why me? Why are we doing AMA in a hotel room at the moment? And um, is this part of just we're doing it, or uh, would you like to touch on that, Buzz? Uh, yeah, so we cut off a little bit, so uh, I got like a really difficult to get the question, but um, I think uh, yeah, can I repeat the question again? Sorry. So I, I've had a great time in the whole game process that we've been in with Stefan, the whole process of where we are. We're six months into the game, but live events around the world. But we've had a little pushback in the community now. Stefan is, is a big deal. It's it's a $20 billion project once market cap. But um, we're very grassroots with these AMAs, right? Sometimes they're a bit late. Mm -hmm. They're uploaded late. This week it took uh, 24 hours and three times for me to upload it. So... There's some people in the community saying, um, do we need a more professional setup? Or why is the team <laughs> sticking with someone like me, I guess? Uh, we've had it a couple okay. of weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, I mean this, yes. this is part of, are we grassroots? Is this, this what you guys have aimed for? Is anything going to change in the future? Yes, yes, definitely. So we are grassroots. And uh, we are, you know, you know, me and Jerry are simple men. And we live a simple life. Before you know, we met Stefan basically, and we want to create a simple app, and we want to talk to and unite simple people, and uh, you know, we talk about this is a Web three lifestyle app, and uh, you know, it is a lifestyle we're trying to create, and uh, you know, as you know, we talked to Barn Dog like what uh, almost uh, five six months ago that uh, invite Barn Dog to be our and uh, we talk about things and we crack a joke. It's all about being part of the new lifestyle we're trying to create. And uh, we don't really want to get people to all focus on, uh, you know, mean max returns. And I think that, that part is good. You know, that, that part is the incentive part where motivate people to get them moving, but it's not the whole part of the app. We, we really want to stay as a grassroots. It doesn't matter, you know, the market cap. I don't even know the market cap. And uh, it is the community we are trying to build. And it's a community that people cannot take away, right? So, you know, people were asking, oh, you know, you have the AMA and uh, what happened? Uh, you say something wrong, this and that. But this is the one channel we engage with the community. That's the one channel that people ask me questions and they can express, you know, if they have any opinions or if they have any feedbacks. And, and we're here to communicate and here to listen. Um, and we see that it's important. You know, uh, 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 I see that as almost the, the most important part of creating this app is to have a community that uh, to grow with us. So yeah, definitely we're gonna sit back here every week and talk about things that maybe people don't want to listen, but you know maybe some people find entertaining. Uh, I love it. I love it. Um, thank you, Yawn. Uh, thank you, Jerry. So any any closing thoughts, Jerry, uh, from yourself tonight? I know you're always a man. You're very quiet, sitting in there working in the office. Uh, any closing thoughts? Uh, I'm pretty good. I leave the time to. <laughs> you know, when we come to Sydney, your uh, Jerry, you're going to have to say hello. Hello, <laughs> welcome to Sydney. <laughs> um, Yawn. Any closing thoughts from tonight? Um, I think it is 
you know, always our pivotal objective to build the app and build communities. Uh, we're going to be coming down from all the fat and uh, continue of what we're doing. I think that's the best way that uh, we react to the fact that, um, you know, there will be no effect for us. Um, very awesome. So uh, w we had a week, uh, turbulent week. We've talked about a couple of times now tonight. So next week we've got Paris live. Um, we've got a huge week where there's a lot of people traveling around Europe to come to that Paris event. So there was limited numbers. Most of the events are limited at the moment due to COVID restrictions through the countries um, or site restrictions. So if you are local to areas like that, I think Chicago is Monday. Um, is that this Monday, I, I believe? So stepinworld.com, keep, keep, keep your eyes on that. There are many, many events. I had something mentioned tonight I did forget to ask. Uh, there was Austin, Texas, I think, is something happening. Yawn, um, have we got anything happening there? Um, Austin, I think there was, there was one planning. Uh, I have to double check. Um, because we have like a, 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 a Stephen organized event and also there are fan events. So but we are now trying to curate them at stephenworld.com. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely got to use those resources. So, I mean, we're here. We're here every week. We've been here since December. Um, the team comes back. They did a special one this week. Um, I look forward to them all, all the time. But um, thank you, Yawn. Thank you, Jerry. The community that checked in, we had five to 6,000 tonight. So it's a big, big one. Um, thank you all for coming along, and we will see you next weekend.